Right, so we've come to Toaster and luckily the sun has come out, hasn't it? Yeah, on the way here it was terrible. We were scraping for somewhere to go this afternoon so we're going to have a wander around this little town and visit the museum, aren't we? Yeah. What are you studying there? The Bodicea Uprising. Hygiene and sanitation during the Roman times. Bathing was an extremely important part of life for the Romans. Archaeological research indicates that Toaster contained at least, two, at least two Roman baths. Now I think we move into uh, World War II in here. Yeah. Toaster in World War II. And of course we have Watling Street that comes right through the centre of the town. As you've seen in this exhibition, the Watling Street has played a major role in the development of Toaster over the centuries and it has fulfilled many functions during that time. Serving as a highway for Roman military settlements, an international border during the Saxon Viking period, an important coaching route in Georgian times and a major arterial road for motor vehicles during the 20th century, being the A5 of course, and the Enfield rifle. It amazes me the length of the bayonets back in the First World War virtually swords. <laughs> the Normans erected a Mott and Bailey castle in the area of Toaster, now known as Moat Lane, as a symbol of their strength. The Mott's a man-made hillock on which a simple wooden castle was sited. Well, we'll go and have a look at that. Are you serving food? Uh, no. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. Yeah. What did you have, Susan? Chicken Looks lovely. And I've got my usual fish and chips. It's really nice. It's like gherkin. Gherkin. Well, we've had a nice little wander around Toaster, aren't we? Yeah, it's been nice. And we've nice. Just, just been in the pub, the Brave Old Oak. Yeah, lovely. And your handbag's annoying, <laughs> <laughs> tripping me up. It was lovely, and I actually gave my fish and chips 10 out of 10, which is rare, isn't it? Very. What did you have? Buttermilk chicken burger. Right. And that was lovely. Okay, and now we're going to look at this burial mound, aren't we? Yeah. Museum there. Just spin this around here. Just level this off a little bit, that's it. Right, apparently it has the, the history of the, of the burial mound. What's this? Uh, well, it's in Latin, isn't it? Well, some of it is. Oh, yeah. That isn't. Oh, it's the tribe, and then it's a ritual burial site close to River Tove. What's this one say? So? 
It's a lovely little place for anybody that wants to visit, isn't it? 43 Romans, Build, Watling Street and Alchester Road. Vikings attack Saxons in first battle of Toaster. Interesting coming up, and there's all little bits, oh, isn't another it? Another one here. 1139 uh, to 55. To Normans build Berry Mount. Mott, What's that? Mott and Bailey. 1139 to 55. Normans build uh, Berry Mount Mott and Bailey. It's a little bit <laughs> difficult to see it, but. And. 1448, Archdeacon Spohn, or is that Spohn? Founds Toaster, Chantry and Grammar School. Fifteen oh five. The next one, Suzanne. Yeah, Toaster. You can, toast, can you speak up a bit? Toasterian. Is that how you say that? Richard Emson is unpopular. Chancellor of the Exchequer and executed by Henry VIII. Oh. Oh, the gunpowder plot now. 1605, gunpowder plotters flee London through toaster. Obviously on the A5. Your turn. 1633, Reverend Shepherd, Cotton, Hooker and Stone leave toaster for the new world and help found Hartford, Connecticut and Harvard University. Mm, amazing. 1643. Hang on. 1643. Toast becomes civil war garrison town. Prince Rupert installs two cannons on Berry Mount. Seventeen o two. William Furmore commissions Hawksmoor to build Eastern Neston House and Park. Eastern Neston House must be fairly close, I would imagine. Yeah. The name rings a bell anyway. 1780, Golden Age of Cochin Inns, Saracen's Head, White Horse, and Tabard Thrive. Mm. And on the town's website, it says you get a good view of the town from up here. It doesn't seem that way, but 1836 to 7, Dickens visits Saracen's Head and reflects on his stay in Pickwick Papers. 1836. Bit of history to the town, isn't there? Yeah, it is. There we go. So, 18, hang on, hang on. 1876, first horse race at Toaster Race Course. Which is up that way. Is it? Last yep. one, Paul. Okay. 1948, First motor race at Silverstone Airfield, which is that way. <laughs> and this is the view they suggest you get over the town. Obviously, it looks better in the sunshine, but. <laughs> right, madam, see if we can get. A... houses are nice there on Moat Lane. Yeah, they're nice. Oh, get a better view from standing up here. Whoop, on the stone. Twenty ten, Berry Mount restored at the heart of Toaster. Mm. Yeah. There's the town hall over there with the spire, pointy spire, and that church. We we'll just have a little wander to that church, Suzanne, and then uh, we can get you back in the cosy car. Well, the lights are on in the church. I wonder if there's something on or whether we can just have a look. We could just try, couldn't we? Amen Corner. Oh, yeah. If paradise is half <laughs> as nice. That's a leafy churchyard, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, all them leaves.
leaves are off the tree. Are they on? Are they? No. Should we go and see? Right, so here we are at St Lawrence Church, Suzanne. It's a nice steeple, isn't it? A lovely steeple with the uh, sun on it. Yeah. Is that the actual time? Quarter to five? Yeah. Quarter to four. Yeah. Hasn't been put back. This is the vicarage. Very nice. I thought this was the town hall, I'm sure it said it was, but uh, looks like an estate agent's now. So this is Toaster.